Hello YouTube, this is my CAN bus V gauge. Right now still not 100% finished because I'm missing the carbon fiber front. And uh, I also wanted to take a minute to say thank you to all the people who replied with their positive comments on my Indiegogo bust video, Indiegogo rent video. So thank you for that. And uh, I supplied my can gauge micro to crowd supply and I'm waiting to hear back from them, which can take up to two weeks. So hopefully I will be able to crowdfund that over there because I do need the funds to go on with the can bus V gauge. Anyhow, let I put a link in the description to the can bus micro v ga uh, micro gauge for the code explanation. I won't go into detail on this one, except that you can choose the bottom three when you order it. If it's a temperature, you will be able to choose from Fahrenheit or Celsius. And the top two codes have the multi-screen code on them, which I added a little bit. I will show you in a second. And you have two touch sensors on the sides here. And you can choose whatever you want to show. You can, of course, switch to auto cycle on both of them if you want to. And have them show whatever you like. Or go back. Uh, what I did with the RPM, I added, of course, the shift light on the can, can gauge micro. It's only one neopixel. Here you have 10 on the top. And uh, on this code, I have it up to the shift point at 4000 RPM because that's what I use in my car. Not that the engine doesn't rev higher, but that's what I use. I don't go higher than that. And I do like the shift light. I did add um, a dimming feature to the NeoPixels because they are way too bright at night. So you will be able to dim them. And um, what else? I think that was the major differences. Of course, this is this is getting connected with a single wire to the OBD port with a plug like this so you have one thin wire which is this one here that's all that's connected to the to this v-gauge on my first version on the v-gauge i had a very very thick hdmi cable and that was just not uh, feasible plus the connecting was much more complicated and i want this to be as easy as it gets practically plug and play I will print a 3D frame around it, of course, as I did with the other one. And this is the back. You see the wire coming out through the garment. And uh, this will, this is how it will look like. You can mount them with any magnetic uh, cell phone holder in the car. And uh, what else, what else? Enjoy the displays as I don't know what to say, what else to say. Oh, also the new pixels are now three times yellow and uh, four green ones. Well, this will be a short one, I guess. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments and uh, I will gladly answer them. Uh, thanks for watching and take care everybody.